On Monday night, shots rang out in the Jane Usher Boulevard area of Belize City, and police had responded but could not find the crime scene. But then on Wednesday, there was a report made of a body near the port of Belize, and cops went back to the area. After hours of search, around 10.30 a.m. that day, they discovered the decomposing body of a man. His identity at the time was not known. This tattoo is what caught the attention of Joey Guzman's relatives. Girl, you need to come down and make we go go see if this person is Joey because this person has an exact tattoo like Joey and I don't see Joey for two days now. And I saw she got home and then she see the picture and then she called me and she said, calm that Joey. And I tell her I know because I always tease Joey about that tattoo. I always tell her Joey that who put Tata do Henne on your hand. Because the guy will leave Tata do Henne looking man thing with some bricks. And she come and then we, well, we gone through the procedures and thing and they tell we were part from the gun and we gone and we identify her. And I made a prayer and hope that not he when we open now, when they open the bag, but that me he. Carmita Lester says that the family grew worried when he didn't show up for lunch two days in a row. He was last seen alive by them on Monday afternoon. He usually comes here to eat every day. So we noticed he came on Monday. Tuesday we not see her. Wednesday we not see her. And Wednesday I, I hear that they may find one body back at port and thing, but I never did pay it no mind. So yesterday I just during lunch time, we had a busy, busy time, and I just clicked my phone, my little Facebook thing on my phone, and when the, the, uh, the, my phone got straight on the, um, on the news thing, we say, um, they was, then they asked if anybody could call identify what John Doe, and I never read nothing else. I just read that, and when I scroll down and I see the tattoo, I run out of the back kitchen, and I tell my mom, I say, Ma, this is Joey. And my mom said, what? I tell her, yes, this is a Joey, this is a Joey tattoo, this is a Joey. Joey, as he's affectionately known, had a mental health condition and was not a violent person. So the family is crushed by his killing. They're asking why. We can't understand, like, who would I want to kill Joey? Like, for what? Because he was not even a violent person. You know, everybody where all comments, everything where people is say about Joey, Joey never, I never, I have never seen Joey violent. He had a home. I just want everybody to know he had, he had two homes. He had a mother ladyville and he had an auntie, one of we auntie that roaring quick with part, he would have gone and stayed for months, you know, but that just the mental illness cause and fee. You know, walk about and no one stay one place. But Joey may love to walk about. So he had a mental condition? Yeah, he had a mental condition. He was not in his right senses, you know. So the only thing I could say, they kill her out of pure idleness. Probably. Uh, you know, it's. We know that his body was found in the port area, which is past Jane Osha, like wrong Jane Osha area. Is there a reason for him to be in that area? They have some family by mother's side where live that Port Laola area. I know he have some family. So maybe that's why he go walk back there. Because a lot of people message and tell me that they see him in a Yabra area. Mm -hmm. So I know he have some family back that side. I'm not sure exactly where, but he has family back at Yabra. So I guess that that's the reason why he go take a walk back there. I wish if somebody knows something, if they would have, you know, come at least call forward and say something, you know, or, or, but I doubt that won't happen. So we just, uh, we just wait for the postmortem and then we are laying at risk. According to police, the body was discovered with at least one gunshot wound and they're asking for the public's assistance with information. Dwayne Moody for News 5.